Hey. Hey, get over here. Yeah, it's me, Hajime. Um, what are you doing out here this late at night? Being very unscrewless, Hajime. Oh, you're just going for a little late night stroll? Um, okay. But still, it's really not that safe for you out here. What am I doing? Uh, um, uh. Just don't say anything stupid. Um, I was just, um, thinking to myself, since, you know, how things have been recently, I just don't know anymore. I really don't know what to do now. Here, um, uh, why don't we get out of the darkness and go somewhere? Okay, um, let's go. Maybe we can go to, um, um where do you want to go? Well, okay, we can go to a cafe. <laughs> I know this one that pretty much doesn't really close all that often, so yeah, we can go. And on our way there, um, can I talk to you about something? Okay. You know, with all the stuff that's going on recently, all the chaos and stuff, it's really hard to catch a break, you know? Even when you sleep, those thoughts still linger inside of your head. You know that feeling, don't you? It's just something that's hard to get off your mind once it happens. Once you see it with your own eyes, hear it with your own ears. It's just, it's just very hard to get those thoughts out of your head. I'm not sure what to do now. Not sure who else I can turn to other than you. After all, we are losing the people around us. The people that we care about the most. I wouldn't be surprised if you perished during all this chaos. Not that I want you to perish, but it is a high possibility. I could possibly lose all the people around me. I could possibly lose all my friends. I could possibly lose you. And I, I dread that every night. I dread the day that I would lose you through all this despair, chaos. I don't want you to go so soon. I have another thing that I need to tell you. I've been hiding this for a long time. Honestly, I didn't really know about this until recently. And ever since then, I've just been distant from others. I didn't know how they would react to this. But I really, really need to tell you. You know of Izuru Kamakura, don't you? Well, um, please do not freak out about this. But him and I are actually one of the same. Please do not freak out, listener. Uh, it, it's gonna be okay. Just promise me you won't freak out. But it's true. I even have a hard time accepting this fact. But I have to. He is like me. But not at the same time. Ugh. <sighs> Show you? Um, okay, but I don't think we should do it out in public. You know, I don't want to, you know, draw a lot of unwanted attention. Let's go back to your place. Okay, um, you lead the way. So, um, are you scared of me now? Please don't be. I don't mean any harm in any way. I just really needed to get this off my chest. Please do not be afraid of me. You're not afraid. I I'm honestly kind of shocked. I was expecting you to. I was expecting you to. Um, just tremble in fear. Or maybe even just run away. But you just stayed. And I thank you for it. 
cannot be any more grateful towards you. Oh, we're at your house? Okay, let's go inside. Wow, you have a nice place there, listener. <laughs> Do you live alone, or... Oh, okay. No, anyways, um... Oh, yeah, I was about to show you. It's a little hard, though, because it's kind of random. It seems like he just pops up whenever he wants to. Um, I'll see if I can get him to come out. <sighs> so you must be listener. Normally, I would find these kind of introductions very boring, but you seem kind of interesting, so... I'm pretty sure Hajime already introduced myself to you, so would you care to introduce yourself to me? I see. And what is your ultimate talent? Oh, normally I'd find that very boring, but you know what? You're not boring. You're not boring at all. I can actually tolerate you the most out of everybody I have met. Mm, I might get a little bit comfortable with you. I'm not entirely sure. This is all just new for me. You're honestly the first person who has caught my interest in a while. <laughs> So, consider yourself lucky, I guess. I don't know why, but I can sense this potential within you. I can sense a strong aura around you. I don't know what it is, but I am attached to it. What is it about you that makes you so special that I must find out one way or another? Either way, I am greatly hooked on it. I must get to know you better. I feel like I must come closer to you. I must know everything there is to know about you. Just try to keep things interesting for me, alright? Okay, then we have a deal then. And maybe I can ask you one more question. Do you think that our relationship could ever strengthen and even evolve into something more personal? You think so? Okay. Because I kind of think that way too. Only time will tell. But, I think I have caught feelings for you. Do you accept? You accept? Great. And just like that, I consider us official.